boys, what is going on? Jamie Vardy is having a party. I believe is this what the third team of the season in a row, or the third FIFA in a row, he's gotten a team of the season card. Coming in at 424,000 coins, you get a very, very nice card. One thing I can already see is a free star, free star, so we are just going to have to counter that. Jamie Vardy has never had the skill moves, he's never had the weak foot, which is very unfortunate for FIFA, but obviously his stats other than that look absolutely insane. So boys, since my last review, we have changed it up a little bit. Yes, I know we have moved the buy of the back because we did actually pack Ruben Diaz, and I'd need to try use the free center backs. I'm not sure what I'm going to play in game. I may try a free 5-2, I believe it is, or free at the back, um, and probably use Aaron Wambasaka maybe as like a right mid pushed up little bit we'll see i'm not decided yet but boys jamie vardy looks absolutely incredible if you do not know how these reviews work we obviously look over the card hop into the game uh game two depending if i can find the match and then giving my overall verdict with an overall rating out of 10 so boys coming in at five foot ten he's got the high high work crates right footed as i said the free star free star will be painful but other than that he is absolutely rapid with 95 pace his shooting is literally as best as it can be 99 positioning 99 finishing 96 shot power with 92 volleys and 93 pins his passing is solid his dribbling his agility and balance isn't great but other than that he's actually got some solid defending for a striker and physical as well his strength of 77 is fine um 90 stamina and 99 aggression this card looks nuts we've gone ahead and we have gone with an engine it's going to put him up to roughly 98 pace in game actually no it's going to put him up to 99 pace here yeah, 99 sprint speed 99 acceleration so he's going to be max the reason we went with the engine is because we can get the agility balance and that passing boost so his passing from 70 long passing to 75 his short passing to 89 and his curve from 79 to 89 vision going to 91 there as well the biggest boost of them all and the reason i have gone with an engine is you can get the plus 5 agility and the plus 10 balance boost and the plus 10 dribbling so going to 98 dribbling 95 balance and 87 agility will be a massive massive boost as for player traits he he actually doesn't have a finesse shot ea my man deserves a finesse shot trait that is actually very disappointing to be honest very very disappointing we are going to play him like i said i haven't decided yet but we're 100% going to play him and hazard as the two strikers and we're going to have them on both stay central and get but and get in behind without further ado boys let's get into it Literally, my internet is terrible, so I'm sorry I couldn't give us out earlier, but let's see how it goes. First game, it is foot champions, and it is Premier League team of the season, so it's going to be painful. Um, usually, I'm gold one to elite, so we'll just have to see how we go. Um, it's a very solid team. It's a sweetie team, a classic sweetie team. These are the teams that scare me. He's got a random a Cyprian, I believe it is, who he's most likely subbing off. Um, he's got Henderson and normal Bender. Surely he's going to be making some subs. These are the teams, the weird-ass teams, that I'm scared of. We'll just see how it goes. So we're going to go with this lineup. We're going attacking straight away. We're going to have Pale and Vardy paired up. We're going to have Saar as a central cam as well. Obviously, I did just have Tielemans in here to get Vardy back chemistry. 1-0 down. I mean, honestly, my opponent is solid. I'm actually curious who he brought on for that bender. I mean, we're still in this game. My opponent, back and forth, his first attack. Go on, Vardy. Take a touch. Bang that. Jamie Vardy. Come on. Gets us back in the game. That is beautiful. That's his weak foot as well, boys. Free star weak foot, my ass. And you know the thing is, when he's got, he's got basically max shooting, right? His weak foot does not matter whatsoever because obviously, like with Ronaldo, for example, he's got four star weak foot, but once his shot power and his shooting in general is ridiculous, he genuinely feels like he's five star, five star. So for me, that was not a free star weak foot shot. That was genuine. It felt like he's got four star in that scenario. Jamie Vardy, free star skills for a finish. Oi, that was close. It was worth a shot, man. Worth a shot. Out to hold it. Vardy in perfect positioning. First time for Ness. This card is ridiculous good. Ridiculously good, man. Perfect positioning, and that's two goals. Jamie Vardy, that's what he's best at, you know. Like, he's got the 99 positioning. Beautiful touch and beautiful finesse shot. Beautiful from Jamie Vardy once again. I'll let you get to that. Oi, unlucky, unlucky. If we could, if he had better passing there, we would have sent Pale through. So that is a downside. Straight away, he's not the definition. He is meta because obviously his stats are insane, but he's missing the skill moves. He's missing the like crucial stats. Vardy, Pale. Oi, if that went in, that would have been a Vardy assist as well. I kind of bottled that a little bit. Vardy, pass it down to Bruno. Need Pale to make that run now. Should be a nice goal. Near post, beautiful goal boys, 3-1, 3-1, we've turned it around, 1-0 down, obviously, Vardy hitting that brace, and a very nice through ball from, I believe that was Bruno, to Vardy, Vardy back into Pale, 
the ball control, like the ball control in general with him is nothing crazy. And that's, that's down to, I mean, his reactions are, is very, very good. That's down to his agility balance. Like his body type, I'm actually, his body type is unique, boys. I'll tell you what, I have not used a player with the same body type as Vardy before. He's very, very weird because he's 5'11". So he's not short, he's not tall, he's an average height. But he's very, very skinny, I guess you could say. And my opponent brings the goal back there. So, I don't know. He's a very interesting body type. He's very unique. I mean, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It makes him quite responsive. But as for the agility and balance, that does let him down a little bit in tight positions. Tavardi, can we get one more attack going here? Very heavy touch on Pale's part. Let me clear that down. Come on. One more attack would be lovely. Jamie Vardy, go on Vardy, against Walker, Vardy's still got it, we're going to go near post, it's his weak foot, that is incredibly unlucky, Pale, oh he's missed it, that is <laughs> once again incredibly unlucky, beautiful run from Vardy, he is rapid, he's, he's the most rapid you can get, he's got 99 sprint speed, 99 acceleration, that finish was almost there, if he had that once again, a better weak foot, maybe it's going in, um, but honestly that's on Pale, that's on Pale, he did miss a simple sitter, see this is where I'd love a 4 star skill move. He's still going, sweep that across to Mendy. Vardy. Vardy. Jamie fucking Vardy with a hat trick, baby. Jamie Vardy is nuts, man. The positioning with him, bro. The positioning, I'm telling you guys now. He's got the perfect, as Inception would say, attacking AI is phenomenal. Phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. That comes to an end, a hat trick for Jamie Vardy absolutely phenomenal we're gonna look over his goals and we're gonna hop over to the end review this card for me was absolutely unbelievable 10 out of 10 three goals Pale with a goal and Hullet with two assists first of all we do go one nil down as you can see here jamie vardy we do give it through to him right here perfect positioning and that is his weak foot it is his left foot and it was a perfect perfect shot and once i like i said he's got some absolutely incredible incredible shooting that you really <laughs> left foot trust me if you're using an average card, this does not seem like a, a freestyle weak foot shot. The power on this was phenomenal. That does not seem like a freestyle weak foot shot. As for the second goal, once again, perfect positioning, deep possessed by Saar. Pale stays onside, takes a touch, not, doesn't even take a touch. Your first time for Ness shot, which is beautiful. And we do score with Pale here. It's just Bruno into Pale. And then we go 3 2. So we wanted a goal back, and Jamie Vardy is there for it at the back post. Hullet, which is once again positioning. Look at that run. That run is absolutely perfect. And as Inception would say, his attacking AI is phenomenal. He sees the ball here, and he instantly runs into the gap. I know lots of cards with poor positioning that wouldn't do that. Beautiful. And notice how two of his three goals was on his left foot. Once again, doesn't seem like a weak foot shot. That one instance where he did go near post with his weak foot, yeah, if he had better weak foot, maybe he is bagging that, but that was more down to a, a poor miss from Pale. Let's head over to the rating out of 10. Oh boys, one game, three goals, working from left to right on what I like and dislike about him. First of all, 5'10 with the high, high work rates was, it, first of all, a big pro. Um, now, the freestar freestar is going to be the first con. I want to have a look at how much or what his body type is because he's got a very un a unique body type, you could say. I'm very, very interested. Very interested. Right, he's got a um, body type of unique. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually crazy. His body type is actually unique. So that literally just proves my point. He's got a very un a unique body type. I've never used a card with his body type. He's not responsive, but he's not not responsive. His body type, 5'10", so he's not very short, but he's also very skinny and slim, so it feels like, you know, he he's very responsive. Now, from left to right, obviously, pros is his pace. His shooting was out of his world, especially that positioning. His passing did the job as a striker, and that engine boost did help. His dribbling, I'm going to say, was a massive pro, except for 82 agility and 85 balance. He's not a card that you can and dribble around with a box with a not a card you can dribble with a, with a ball at his feet at all time he's not a card like that he is a proper target man he can bang the goals for fun rapid solid passing but other than that the 99 composure the 92 ball control and the 99 reactions was incredible as for physical can't lie boys a 77 strength he did get a little bit bullied now and again so he's going to be more a striker that you want to have on stay central get in behind abuse that pace abuse that shooting abuse that dribbling as for jumping and hitting accuracy very solid his stamina is fine that aggression as well, 99 is, is the best you can ask for. Now, the last con, obviously, freestyle, freestyle, and agility, I would say, is a con. The third con is going to be there's no finesse shot trait. 
I don't know why. He's, he bags them in for fun in real life. Obviously, this season, I believe he's on like 10 goals and like something crazy, like eight assists or something. So he's obviously compared to last season. He's had a better season last season. Still, he deserves a finish shot trait. He, like he's just known for it. putting on his, his sprinters and just bagging it home. Do not know how he does not have a finish shot trade, but either way, boys, absolutely incredible card. Now, for the rating out of 10, considering how he performed, that's a 10. But considering he's 420k, yes, he'll be dropping. By the time you're watching this, he might be 300k, he might be 250k, or you might get him from the guaranteed pack. If you get him from the guaranteed pack for you guys, or if you get him first owner untradeable, 9.5 out of 10, because you didn't have to spend anything. Straight away, it's a 9.5 out of 10 card. But if you want to spend 400,000 coins, based on value, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 7.5, which is relatively high considering he is 420k. If he drops below 300, simply he'll be an 8.5, pushing a 9. He's a sensational card. Obviously, further into the game, going to team of the season, we're going to get a lot, a lot, a lot of good cards. So there'll be lots of cards similar to Vardy in the future, but for now, this card is sensational. And for me, if you play a full 30 weekend league games, I could honestly see him contributing to 70 to 80 goals. I mean, he is a very good card. He can assist the goals nicely with his passing and most importantly, the pace and shooting. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. Remember, if you're new, make sure to drop a like and sub. It's completely free. We're on the road to 6,000. And until next time, peace out, lads.